Our quality of life is better now than ever before. Yet we're posting record numbers of depression, anxiety, loneliness, pessimism, and a myriad of other mental health disorders. Now, of course, the source of this is a combination of complex factors, but one of those factors might be explained with this blue dot. In 2018, Harvard scientists gathered a bunch of non-colorblind people and showed them a series of a thousand dots ranging from very blue to very purple. For the first 200 dots, the participants were shown an equal amount of blue and purple. After that, researchers started decreasing the amount of blue dots shown, but interestingly enough, colors that were previously identified as purple were now being labeled as blue. This phenomenon is known as prevalence-induced concept change, and its implications are surprisingly far-reaching. The basic concept is people respond to a decrease in a thing by expanding their definition or concept of that thing. For example, in the real world, if you see less ripe bananas at the grocery store, you're going to start identifying slightly greener or spottier bananas as ripe. But the authors of this study, Daniel Gilbert and David Lavari, argue the societal implications can be far-reaching and dangerous. For example, we experience less crime in our day-to-day -day lives now more than ever. But people's definition of what constitutes a crime could be expanding, and that could pose a lot of issues for our culture and society. It can be something as simple as lying to your boss over the phone about why you didn't come in. That could constitute wire fraud, taking a rake from New York State into New Jersey. That's actually a federal crime. And we see that playing out online all the time. People get mad and lose their minds over things that are valid, but sometimes people just blow up over nothing. Another example that comes to mind for me is that people experience less danger now more than ever. But it seems like people's definition of danger is expanding and therefore they are seeing it in some places where it might not be. In Michigan, prosecutors filed criminal charges against a 10-year-old who, during a dodgeball game, threw a ball at another kid's face and hurt him. This is a kid that was playing on the playground with his friends. Bryce was charged with aggravated assault. They recreated this trial multiple times with minor tweaks. And in my opinion, the most interesting one was when they showed people a series of faces ranging from very threatening to not very threatening. And they were also presented with scenarios that were ranging from ethical to non-ethical. And again, even with these more complex variations, the blue dot effect kicked in. People started identifying non-threatening neutral faces as threatening when the stimulus was decreased. And same thing with the ethical scenarios. And they were taking it seriously too. People were even offered money to get the right answers and the effect was the same. Do you see the problem here? The blue dot effect points out our nature as human beings to see what we've been conditioned to expect. And in the age of social media, that tends to manifest as unhealthy comparisons which breed constant feelings of inferiority. The blue dot effect refers to the tendency of individuals to focus on problems and threats and ignore the things that we do have the things that you should be grateful for. The people that we glamorize online, the ones with the expensive lifestyles, aren't better off. Studies show that their level of happiness may jump for a short while, but it always returns to a baseline of a six or seven out of 10, just like you. And the same thing happens with negative experiences. If you go through something and it doesn't get solved, your brain will tend to adapt and normalize it. It's what our brains do. It seems like human beings are constantly in a state of mild contentment, no matter what. Things can always be better, but they can also always be worse. The YouTuber who gets 10 million views throws a fit when he only gets a million, and Kim Kardashian complains that she doesn't have a jacuzzi. You know, we don't have a jacuzzi. Can you believe that? Can you believe we don't have a jacuzzi? This is something that I'm trying to remember in my own life. The people we glamorize, the celebrities, might not be going through the same things that we are, but chances are they probably feel similar to you and I. No matter how good or bad things are going, remember, the blue dot effect tends to kick in, making all the colors look the same.